Kevin oh my Cox. gosh, so sexy. What's going on, party people of Ruskov's channel? My name's Kevin Kulex, and this is a gameplay of Modern Warfare 3 you're watching from me. And as always, I start off with a uh, Semtex grenade toss over there, but of course, I always get hit markers because apparently with the Semtex, you can only get hit markers with it, especially when I use it, but it's here. You can see, ooh, it's so delicious. Look at all them kills. Yeah, they're all for me. So I come around for seconds, and I get even more kills. <laughs> that, was a little, that was a little intense there. I'm sorry about that. You know, this game is intense right here because... I have to say, this is definitely the best gameplay of Call of Duty I have ever gotten. This is a 57 and 0 flawless game. Now, I never go flawless when I play Call of Duty, just because. Well, I think you all can assume why I don't go. Fl I never go flawless because of all the ridiculous nonsense that happens in well, pretty much every Call of Duty, but um, especially in Modern Warfare 3. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, which uh, is kind of one of the reasons why I've kind of slowed down my playing of this game now. I've have I completely sworn it off and yeah possibly but you know if all the right circumstances circumstances come I might play this game but as you can see right now I'm in the Reaper and I got my payload there we go and uh, you know usually what I like to do with my gaming videos is I like to kind of have a discussion of a kind of topic to kind of help really interact with you know my subscribers and all that fun stuff because why I do this I do this for fun I don't do it to try to you know get YouTube famous or you know all that stupid stuff. I just I do it because I have it because I, I have fun with it. That's exact. That's what everybody should be doing this for. Some people, you know, little, 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 little whatever. I don't want to go into it. <laughs> but uh, let's, the topic I want to talk about in this video is um, you know game of the year and or not really. Well, I guess game of the year. But what was your favorite game that came out this fall or gaming season? Personally, for me, my favorite game would have to be Battlefield Three, just because. That game is just freaking awesome, man. Like, the graphics, amazing. They, I feel like they really went above and beyond. They, like, expanded, they so, they expanded the whole Battlefield uh, series so much with Battlefield 3. Just so many unlocks, so many weapons, so many maps. and It's, just, it's a phenomenal game. It really is. Now, there are some balancing issues still, like with, especially with the new weapons. I just kind of came with the uh, back to Carcan maps. Like, uh, the FAMAS is... Pretty insane, not gonna lie. But uh, what DICE does is they realize that their stuff is broken or a little overpowered, and they freaking fix it. Um, <laughs> unlike some people. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, 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 sorry. What am I? Am I? Oh, I'm sorry. My throat's a little, 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 little verklempt there. I guess you can call it. <laughs> but, um, but personally, I would say though that that was my favorite game that came out was Battlefield 3. But personally, I think Game of the Year should go. Sure, at least should have gone to was uh, Gears of War 3. I think Gears of War 3 is just the complete package of a game. You know, you got amazing single player as always. You got the horde mode, which is so, so much fun. Like, you don't even have to enjoy, like, the multiplayer. You can just you can just play the single player and horde mode, and you'll get your money's worth out of that game because they went above and beyond the horde mode in Gears 3. Because Gears 2, it was fun, yeah, but it got a little redundant just because, you know, all that happened is just that, your enemy got a little harder to kill. And with, you know, the new Horde mode, they added so much extra stuff like defenses and, you know, crazy boss modes and stuff, level uh, rounds and stuff like that. It's just, it's too, it's too much fun. It really is. I guess that's probably why I haven't played it as much or something. <laughs> like a sign winding it right in the window. You can't camp, buddy. I'm going to get you. What the hell was that? I don't know if you guys heard that. That was a loud pop, but whatever. And, um, but, you know, I heard a lot of people t talk a lot, a lot about uh, Skyrim. Now, I have not played Skyrim. I don't know if I'm even going to pick it up, really, because, you know, it's from the people who made uh, Fallout 3. I'm not really the biggest fan. I was not the biggest fan of uh, Fallout 3. Now, uh, you know, a lot of people liked it. Personally, I didn't really enjoy it just because I felt like it was, the game was a little slow-paced for me. I didn't really like the combat. I felt like the animations weren't really that great, especially, if, like, when you're talking to somebody. But, um... <laughs> That's me just me being a little picky, but um, you know I might pick it up just because you know I've heard so many great things about it. I guess you know it had to be a good game, right? I mean it did win Game of the Year, but uh, you know currently I am playing uh, through Mass Effect 2 on Insanity again because uh, you know I had to get a new Xbox because my uh, previous one stopped reading discs and I got the slim, so hard drive can be taken out and all that nonsense. So. I'm playing the game over again because I'm getting ready for Mass Effect 3 when it comes out in March. And oh my god, I think my life is... Pro I'm, I'm probably going to get fired from my job because I'm just going to stay at home playing Mass Effect 3 all day. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I love, 
love love that series man that bioware cannot does not know how to miss when they come to making games they are just amazing at making you know great stories this guy get down from a th what third person missile jeez take it easy kid <laughs> but yeah guys let me let me know in the comment section like what game you know did you think uh well not think but what game is your favorite game that came out this fall and if you say Modern Warfare 3, I'm going to punch in the face. No, I'm just kidding. I really won't do that. But uh, I'll be, I'll definitely, it'll definitely raise an eyebrow. And uh, look, at it, I get super lucky. Like, see, that's one of the things when it comes to you know, Call of Duty and getting good gameplay. Is one, it takes a little bit of skill. Two, you got to use the right steps. And three, you just got to get straight up lucky. But right there, I go 57-0 and 0 in the uh, 66 uh, kill confirmed match. That's, the, that's definitely the best gameplay I think I've ever gotten. Not saying it's going to go all downhill, but, you know, thanks for watching, guys, as I always appreciate you guys watching my videos. And uh, if you want to come over to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. You'll definitely catch some uh, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, a little bit of Gears, even though I'm terrible at that game. I love playing it, though. And, uh, you know, just a nice little variety of shooters. I got some Halo 2, you know, not Halo 2, but, you know, actual Halo. So thanks for watching. As always, guys, I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you later. Peace.